Hello, and welcome back to another Drake Wall 360. Thank you so much for joining us. Today, we'll be exploring the Jersey Bridge. The Jersey Bridge is located on Drakewell Road in Cherry Tree Township, PA, where it crosses Oil Creek and leads to Museum Lane in our park. Jersey Bridge was constructed in 1882 and spans 135 feet with a roadway width of 11 and a half feet. It was built by the Morse Bridge Company of Youngstown, Ohio, which later became the Youngstown Bridge Company. Today, it's become the American Bridge Company located in Pittsburgh. While the Morse Bridge Company was known for its ornate bridges, the Jersey Bridge is, large, is largely left undecorated, making it unusual for the company. According to the website historicbridges.org, however, the bridge still has a bit of ornamentation, featuring traditionally composed trusses with built-up beams containing V-lacing and lattice portal bracing. More important than a bridge's aesthetic is its functionality. The bridge is a Pratt Truss Bridge. The Pratt Truss design was created by Thomas Willis Pratt and Caleb Pratt a father and son pair of American engineers in 1844. The basic principle of the Pratt Truss involves triangular truss designs with diagonals that slope towards the center of the bridge. When under load, this design allows the diagonal parts to feel tension, the force that expands the objects apart, while the vertical parts feel suspension, the force that pushes the object onto itself. While bridges are built to hopefully last as long as they can, the Jersey Bridge has undergone some hardships over the years. In 1979, the Pennsylvania Department of Transportation, or PennDOT, did a structural survey on the bridge and found it to be deteriorating. A 10 short ton weight limit was placed on the bridge. Even though the bridge was placed on the National Register of Historic Places in 1988, the situation got worse, with the bridge being deemed completely unsafe for travel in 1997. Traffic was brought into the site by way of Drakewell Road, as that was the only alternative route. The bridge was refurbished and opened to traffic once more in May of 1998. The museum has often been asked if the bridge can accommodate large vehicles, from RVs to tour buses. Due to the bridge's, bridge's historic status, it is not required to have clearance or wait signs on it. In 2016, the museum and PennDOT worked together to place a clearance and wait sign for the drivers. Thank you for joining us for another Drakewell 360. If you'd like, subscribe to our YouTube channel or like us on Facebook or visit the website at www.drakewell.org.